Hey guys. All right. So for today's math lesson, we're going to have to do like we did the last time. We're going to have to just watch it on Miss Gates' computer. Um, watch Miss Gates at the top and we're just going to make do and do the best we can. All right. So for this lesson, I'm going to show you the materials that you need in just a minute, but I want to show you one thing before we get started and get to that slide. Okay. In your red math folder, you're gonna have your green game for today. But on the back of that is a word form chart. And we're gonna need this during our lesson today. So go ahead and get this out. I wanted to show you that before I started sharing my screen. So we're gonna need that because we're on lesson 1.3. All right, I am fixing to share my screen with you and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Well. All right. I think it's coming. There we go. All right. So today in math, we are working on lesson 1.3. All right. Let's look at what we're doing today. Our objective for today's lesson is that I can read and write numbers in their word form. All right. Now, our materials that we're going to need today, that should say red math folder. Your math folders aren't green, but your red math folder, you're going to need your dry erase board and your white, your dry erase marker and your whiteboard. You're going to need a pencil and a dice for your math game. All right. So go ahead and pause your, your video, look at this screen and get what you need and come back and meet us for math. All right. All right. Now, today what we're looking at is we want to look at recognizing numbers in their word form, and then we're also going to be able to write those numbers in their word form, all right? So if you look, like I said, right before we started this, was you have this same chart in your red folder. It's a green piece of paper. It's on the back of your game for today, all right? And it has all the number words that we could need for this unit. All right, so we start with the number zero, and it even gives you the number zero, and then it shows you the word for zero. And if you go down, you can see the number one and then the word for one. All right, and this first column goes all the way from zero all the way to 19. All right, then we move over to our next column and we see the numbers 20. And then we see 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then it skips to 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 and 80 and 90. And I'm going to show you why it does that, okay? Once we get to 30, we are going to do the exact same thing that we did with 20, except for it would say 31, and then we could do the same thing with 40. We could do 42, okay? So we're just gonna use these words and put them in front of one, two, three, four, all the way to nine, all right? Same thing until we get to 100. 100 is right here, all the way to 900, and then 1,000 when we get there, all right? So Miss Gates is gonna show you a couple of numbers and you're going to kind of watch me first, and then you're going to have a chance to do it on your own. All right, so let's look at our first example. All right, we want to look at the number 79. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do on my chart is I'm going to look over here and I'm going to say, okay, I know that when I look at this number, the first thing I say is 70. So I'm going to go and I'm going to find the number 70. There it is right there. And then I'm going to find the number 9. So I know I'm going to use those two numbers, 70, 9, and I'm going to write those out. Okay? So I'm going to take my pencil and I would write the word 70. So S E V E N T Y, and then we're going to use a hyphen in between them. So 79, N I N E. So now I see that my number 79 is written in standard form and 
word form. 79. All right. Now, let's look at another example. Ooh, this one's bigger. I wonder what we're going to do. First, I want you to say this number with me. All right. So, my number is 845. So the first thing we're looking for when we say 845 is we are looking for 800. So let's find it. Oh, I see 800 right there. So we're looking for 845. All right. 845. All right. So here we go. Let's write this down, all right? So we are going to be writing, we're gonna start with 800. So we're gonna do E, I, G, H, T, 800. Forgive my handwriting, this is with my mouth and it's not the best, but 800. And I'm gonna run out of room, so I'm gonna to have to write it below, but 800. 40, and we're going to use that hyphen again, 5, okay, 845, all right, so we have, uh -oh. we have the number in standard form, whoopsies, we have the number in standard form, and the number in word form, all right? We have one more example, and you're going to get to work some on your own. So here we go. Our next number, let's read that together. We see it in standard form, so let's read that together. Here we go, all right? My number is 700. Two. Now, if we noticed, we don't have anything in the tens column here. So we're not going to write 702. All we need to write is, we're going to highlight what we're looking for, 702. All right, and then I'm going to use my pen, and I'm going to write the number 7. Hundred two T W O. All right, and then we are finished with seven hundred two. All right, so you are going to have a chance to practice some of these. All right, now let's go ahead. And we're gonna to flip to the next slide and you're gonna to get to see. So using your whiteboard, I want you to write the word form of these numbers, all right? So I want you to go ahead and pause your video here so that you can see your numbers, okay? I'm not gonna say them out loud because I wanna see if you know them and can write them. You're gonna use your whiteboard and also your green piece of paper. Remember, you have this that's gonna help you, all right? So using your whiteboard, I want you to write the word forms of these numbers, okay? And then have your parent check them, all right? When you are finished with that, you may go and take out your worksheet for lesson three or 1.3, all right? You're also gonna have a chance to play your game. So actually, I think I want you to play your game first before you um, work on your lesson 1.3. All right. So in just a minute, after you have watched this and written your numbers, you'll see a sm short video showing you how to play today's game as well. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you learned a lot using your word form chart. And you remember, you can use that for your um, game and your worksheet for today, all right? I hope you have a great day.